Here they come. Oh my goodness. We already have a demo right out of the chute too. Of course we do. Yeah, I'm not, I am not at all confident that we're going to survive this night. <laughs> Just not. Oh man, this is not, not good. I'm scared already. Welcome back, everybody, to the Zombie Metropolis series featuring Undead Lake Sam and Old Guy Gaming, and we're picking up right where we left off uh, in the last episode, where we're going to hopefully survive Horde 84 uh, in this in this custom peel. I have never been in here before, so I'm not quite sure uh, what to expect, but what we're going to do is work our way up to the upper floors uh, during the Horde night, and, um, you know, I, I'm... I'm not sure if this <laughs> if this building's going to be able to uh, withstand Horde 84. Uh, I won't put it, let's put it this way, I won't be surprised if it doesn't withstand Horde 84, in which case we are in big, big trouble. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started going through it and, you know, hope for the best. Uh, it's not a very large building and it has, um, you know, and it's just ha has normal 2,500 hit point concrete blocks holding it up. So... Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be touch and go, going to be touch and go. So we're just going to keep working our way up to the upper floors. If I manage to get all the way up to the upper floor before the Horde Night's over, which I probably will, because it doesn't look like there's a whole lot to this place. Uh, you know, then I'll just kind of hunker down and wait out the night and, uh, you know, cut the camera unless something crazy happens. Okay. So we do have this other building across the way to, um, I'm not even sure. I think it's this direct. Where is it? Might be over on that side, which we could potentially frame over to if we had to. But the thing is about that building is I never had time to secure the bottom floor. So I don't know if the Zombos would have a direct path to get back up, you know, to get up to us. They probably would. I'm thinking... So that's what we're about. So let's go ahead and check out this POI. Just normal zombos in here, nothing too terribly crazy. Let's see what's in here. There is a glowing zombie in there. Okay, let's leave that zombo alone for the moment and clear the rest of the floor off, and then we'll maybe block that door to kill the the glower all right so we took him out um you know what let's let's kill the zombies across the way right now because we might have to go over there and I'd rather have them out of the way If we do. That's the bridge that we knocked out there. Hmm. So yeah, well, we need to... I'd actually kind of like to get over to that building as soon as possible. And, uh, you know, just kind of check it out and see if... We can secure it, you know, from up above. Just in case we need to fall back to it, which we very well might need to do that's just a crawler there so this is like just a little office building I, I kind of thought it was a almost had an apartment building feel to it down below the problem with um 
these custom POIs is a lot of them, I'm, I'm finding that a lot of them are, you know, they're kind of playing Jane. They're just not as well put together as, uh, as the, you know, the developer POIs, but that's not true in every case, of course. Uh, for example, the art gallery, the art gallery is, in my opinion, uh, every bit as good, if not even better in terms of quality as, you know, a, an actual fun pimps made POI. So some of them are, are absolutely fabulous, but then a lot of them are just kind of, eh, okay, whatever. Uh, the Harbinger Tower, you know, it was fun to go through because it was so big and, and the whole concept of it with the courtyard and everything was neat. But at the end of the day, it did kind of start to get plain Jane on the upper floors. Uh, basically, what they did is they, it, you know, they made two floors, which were almost identical, going up. And um, so, you know, it got, it got after a while, it kind of got to be same old, same old, even even though it was it was a good place. I mean, we, we got some good stuff out of it, too. And man, and boy, did it ever take a long time to get through that place, too. Okay, since we have a glower in here, and I'm not sure what kind of glower it is, if it's something like a biker, it's going to be nasty, nasty. Let's put one of our blocks down here. Get our repair tool. Do we have any cobble? We don't have any cobble, so there's no point in having the repair tool down there. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Um, and then let's just see if we can take this guy out. Use our lock picking skill. Right about there. Okay, let's go down a little more. Got it. Uh, I don't know what kind of zombo that is. I don't think it's a really nasty zombie. It's just probably a normal. Yeah, it's just a yo. Yo's not too bad. Okay, it's do or die time, ladies and gentlemen. Do or die time. What is this? It's 2,500. Here they come. Oh my goodness. We already have a demo right out of the chute, too. Of course we do. Yeah, I'm not, I am not at all confident that we're going to survive this night. <laughs> Just not. Oh man, this is not... Not good. I'm scared already. Okay, I think we're done with this floor. Let's get on up higher. I want to. I want to be as high up away from these guys as possible. Okay, we got a glowing soldier. That guy's gonna be. Oh, there's just a normal feral soldier. All right, that door is unlocked. We've got some Kim benches and stuff over there. That's interesting. Um, all right, so probably for this guy, he's going to be tough. He's going to be really tough. But I have a very limited number of cobblestone blocks with me. So let's see if we can just gun this guy down. All right, that went reasonably well. I hope there aren't, like, windows that the vultures can get through. That would suck. We are so low on ammo, too, man. I do have um, a stack. Well, not a full stack, but I have a, um, 225 armor-piercing rounds for the far uh, when the time comes for us to need that, so... Yeah, see, buzzards are hitting on the sides of the wall. Hopefully they don't get in here. Okay, we've got a couple poppin' pills boxes, so this is going to be a, a medical floor. Oop, unloaded.
This is nerve wracking, man. I'll tell you what. I just, you know, you you get into situations in this game where you you know you feel reasonably safe. I do not feel reasonably safe right now. <laughs> I do not feel reasonably safe right now. Just gonna throw that out there. Oh, we must have killed that guy already. Okay. What's inside of here? Uh, we already know that, so we'll scrap it. Okay, we got a biohazard dude over that way. A little bit of gunpowder action. Um, I'm not taking either one of those things. We don't need that stuff. Got some barrels. Let's save our bullets and use our crossbow bolts as much as possible. If we remember to load the weapon, that is. Wasteland Treasures, Volume 3. We'll scrap that. We'll take the rest of that stuff. Alright, I think that's it for... Oh, no, we got to get this too. Oh, look at that. Not that we'll ever use that, but, I mean, if we're going to do knuckles, we'll do the steel ones, but, um, and because of that fact, says I have some already, let's just scrap it for the points. Um, we definitely want those two things. I'm going to leave the chrysanthemum. We don't need it. Now, what do we get when we take apart chemistry stations? All right, so just some wood and iron and stuff get firewood too that's interesting your salvage tool skill has improved I'll be curious to see the damage that they do on this building in the morning what do we oh yeah we left those all right let's get the hell out of here and up to the next floor the higher up we get the better off we're going to be, except for when this happens. How did you get in here? Through a window? Probably. Let's put this down here. Um, in place of that, I guess. I don't know. He probably busted through a window, is my guess. Okay, some pills and some gunpowder. I'll take that. Oh, look at that. That buzzard busted through the, the ceiling to get to us. Interesting. I thought I heard the sound of wood being damaged as opposed, you know, to the concrete walls. Okay, next floor. We're getting a little higher. It's a good thing. Not necessarily safe from buzzards, but safer from anything down below. As usual, we got pretty slow frame rate. I've got the Zombo set to 32. Pretty much been doing 32 for a long time now because 64 is just too much for my machine to handle. All right, we don't have a good headshot option for this guy, so I guess he gets a nut shot. Okay. Uh, let's check this door first. Um, right here-ish. Here, let's do it this way. Look at that. So this is a little cubby underneath the stairs kind of thing, or a closet, I guess.
So we're still doing pretty good with Sneaky Sneak, even with heavy armor on, just because of our skill in it. Lots of crawlers in this place. They seem to be able to detect us easier than the normal zombos. I don't know. Or maybe it's just RNG. Oh, that's kind of a nice find. Hey. Alright, so uh, we don't care about this. And we want to scrap that. Okay, that's good. Let's go. Ooh, there are zombos across the way there. That's uh that's interesting. I wonder if they are sleeper zombos that have woken up or if they're horde zombos. I think those are horde zombos. Yeah, look at that. They actually found a way to get up there, but thank God we busted that bridge out or we would be in a world of hurt right now. Okay, let's get rid of this. That's a sleeper. This this could actually work in our favor because... See, the Zombos see this as the only potential path up to us, which means they're running up there to get to us instead of trying to take this building down. So that's actually a very good scenario for us, I think. I mean, I still hear them also, you know, doing some damage, so we're going to keep moving around, but this is good to see. Very good to see. Okay, let's keep going. I can't get through there. Hey, wait a minute. How did that happen? Oh, I'll bet you he jumped across onto this ledge. Okay. We got like two demos down there. Yeah, he must have jumped across to the ledge. I mean, if I had enough ammo to spare, I'd actually try and kill some of them, but... So, okay, so did they, like, just break their pathway up to that upper floor? Because none of them are coming back up that floor now. They're just cycling down through there. We might be o we might be okay, you guys. I mean, might. <laughs> it's 1.30 or 12.30. Um, yeah, that's actually very good that they're that they're doing that. Okay, stupid zombies working in our favor, right? Oh, I thought that was his head that I was shooting. Why is there a cash register up here on the upper floor? That's weird. There's a bunch of cash registers up here. Some ammunition. There we go. Uh, use this technique to increase attack speed with axes by 5%. Nice. And we finished the... Um, we finished the thing, the collectible. So what do we get for that? Sprint longer and have 50% carry capacity in the burnt biome. Okay. Kind of worthless if you ask me. <laughs> Unless you're planning on like, living in the burnt biome, but whatever. Whatevs, game. It's a little bit of a disappointment if you ask me it's like some of those lo some of those collectible end um rewards it you almost i almost get the feeling like they just kind of came up with something stupid because they couldn't figure out a good reward for it kind of feel to it you know i don't know restrooms for paying customers employees must wash hands so seriously everybody had to pay at these three cash registers to go take a dump is that what we're talking about here <laughs> oh man that's funny okay so that's um 
Okay, we have stairwell going up that way. So, oh, this is just the same room we were in before. Okay, it just comes back out here. That's weird. Okay, I think we're ready to go up to the next level. So we got a couple do. Oh shit! Let's um let's eat some blueberry pie. I'll get a little health back and we need the food anyway. I think I'm gonna take a pill too and drink a water. Alright, store's locked. I wish it wouldn't do that. I click at the top and it, it snaps like way down there. Okay, so somewhere up here, it's really better to use just the arrow keys for this, because it's a little janky. Well, hello, sir. I don't think we can shoot through that lamp stand for him. Handgun skill has improved. Good, good. Have we gotten our first skill in handguns? Let's take a look at that real quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're actually at 29 uh, in handguns. Nice. I've been using it quite a bit because I really like this little badger. And for a, a silenced 38, it packed a pretty good punch, too. The other good thing about it is I have a lot of 38 ammo that I've looted throughout this playthrough. Can we shoot through there? Oh, we can. Okay. Wasn't sure. Down with the sickness. That's the guy we shot through the window. Man, there sure are a lot of business seeks in here. Did we kill him? I think we killed him, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. All right, that's it for up here. There's not a whole lot up here. Pretty pretty bare, pretty boring. There we go. All right, so if we go out here, uh, we're going to have to fight some buzzards. So, I guess there's nothing for it if we want to loot these crates, right? That was a sleeper buzzard on hiding out on the other side. Okay, let's let's let the blood moon buzzards get over here first so they don't attack us with our back turn unless they're hung up on the building, which they could be. Okay. I'm going to assume that that's the case. Okay. We're kind of getting to that point in the game where um you know, we're not we're very very rarely finding loot that's better than what we already have. But there's still the possibility that we could, you know, so it's worth doing. Yeah, like this. <laughs> uh, all right, scrap that. I'm not even going to mess with the club. Get ourselves some more gardening materials here. Okay, let's close that in case buzzers do happen to come around. <coughs> Gesundheit. 
excuse me. We should probably repair this. It's getting getting down there. So, uh, I, I don't know. Some of you, I'm sure, have noticed, if not actually watched, but um, I've started playing Valheim um, and just really enjoying it. The game is just, I don't know, it's so fun to play. And I, I've mentioned this to a couple other people about it, and that is that, um, you know, when I first saw the game come out and people started playing it and people like in the discord were saying oh god you got to play this game I, I i just i kind of looked at it a little bit like looked at the trailer on street on steam and that sort of thing watched a couple of minutes of a couple you know youtube's live streams that sort of thing and i didn't really see what what the what all the hype was about i mean it looked like it was kind of a cool game um but it wasn't i just didn't see why the game has sold over 500 or not 500 5 million copies in four weeks kind of thing I, you know and it wasn't until i started actually playing it that i kind of that it kind of clicked and it's even now it's still kind of difficult to say with uh you know for sure what's cool about it it's just it's just fun to play and so if you guys haven't tried it yet you know it's only i think it's like only a 20 dollar game it's not super expensive So, give it a try, man. It is really cool. Oh, man, we're getting a big rush here. All right. These aren't, you know, these are all sleepers, yeah. Some things I can tell you, you know, that I like about it is that the building in it's actually really fun. Um, and it's got some of the best terraforming ability of any survival game I've seen to date. It's 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 not perfect. Uh, and it's 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 a little quirky to work with sometimes, but I don't know, it's just fun. And and, and I know that's kind of a vague explanation, but it, it's not something that I realized until I started playing it myself is what I'm trying to say. Uh, the world is absolutely enormous and it's 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 pretty it's pretty neat too. It's the graphics are are kind of intentionally simple in it, I guess. Um they're they're kind of like low res but not in a bad way. You know, it's kind of like in a Minecraft sort of way. But the thing about it is you don't really notice that. Um, you know, when I first, very first logged into the game and saw the login menu and noticed the graphics, I was going, eh, that, you know, that kind of sucks, you know, but as soon as you start playing it, you completely don't even notice that or care about it, you know, because the game is just that much fun to play. So, uh, uh, what else? You know, the, the main premise of the game is that you have, you have to kill these five bosses, uh, with you know each boss has increasing difficulty and so i've only killed the first boss so far which is actually a pretty easy fight but you know to get to the last boss you uh it, it's not a, an easy journey so i probably just woke up a bunch of baddies didn't i maybe not Okay, do we have more brass that we can scrap besides this? Don't, yeah, no, we don't. Okay, we're good. Let's close that door and open this safe. Oh, you know what, too? Why don't we put these on? Okay, so I'm going to click right at the top. And as soon as I do that, it moves the bobby pin. Okay, so right about here-ish. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. It's kind of a pain in the neck. Let's move it back up a bit. There we go. Hmm. Purple double barrel. And some shotgun shells. The shotgun shells are what I actually want. We're really low on those. This has a whole another floor? Man, how high is this building? I thought we'd be all the way up at the top by now. Okay, so do we did we go in here? Uh, yeah, we killed a bunch of Zeeks out there. I've been busy blabbering here and not paying attention to what the hell's going on. This floor looks like it's almost identical to an earlier one that we were on. 
Yeah, this is the hallway we came down and just killed a bunch of zombies that rushed us. So is there nothing on the other side of this wall? Oh, right. Yeah, that was that little patio that, that we went out on. Gotcha. Okay. This is where we came up. Okay, so I think we're done on this floor. we got to be getting close to the top of this building by now. More sleepies. Yeah, see, this floor looks almost exactly the same as... If I click over here... It still, it still always pops to this spot here. That's just weird, man. It's almost better just to use the arrow keys, I think. All right, so let's try this. Maybe a little more this way. There we go. Where are you guys coming from? Here, I want to kill that thing right now before he becomes a serious problem. Come on, dummy. Just walk around the corner. You're so stupid. Are you dead? I think she's dead. All right, that dog's dead even though he's sitting up. Harvest these guys for stuff. Okay, we're going to have to be careful of Blood Moon vultures. Hey, look at that, man. It's almost morning already. I think this is the last floor of this building. The vulture, the other vultures must be stuck in that building, is my guess. One can hope, right? And it's morning, and we survived. Look at that. All right, I I think that um, what you know what I was talking about earlier, the fact that the zombos AI told them to path through that other building was our saving grace, because if they would have focused just on this building the whole night. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it would have been able to to withstand it, you know. Uh, maybe it would have. It all depends upon you know what they what they decide to focus on, and of course the tactic to use in that situation is to not stay in the same place the whole time to move them around. So we might have been okay, um, even without that. But I I think that you know definitely you know worked in our favor for them to uh, to stay to just try and path through that building. Okay, well, let's just finish this building out since we only have one floor to go anyway. And we'll see what's up on the roof. Maybe there'll be some fat loots up on the end of the roof. There's never been anything behind that picture. Okay, you guys are just sleepers, I think. Oh, shit. Here, I need to quickly switch to... Wait. Don't I have a... Oh, did I make 7-6-2 rounds instead? I think I did, didn't I? Uh, that's... That's not good. I did! Oh, crap! Uh, alright. Well, we've got... We've got 41 rounds of shotgun shell. That was close. Holy crap, that was close. Whew! 
Oh man, I screwed up, guys. I I I thought I was making five five six, not seven six twos. <laughs> okay, well, we still have lots of thirty eights. The problem with the the problem with the badger is that it only has uh, five rounds in the chamber. Wouldn't that be uh just the the saddest thing ever if uh, we survived? the 84 blood moon horde just to get killed by sleepers in this building that's not going to happen but it'd be sad if it did all right let's make sure that doesn't happen by making sure our health is topped off and we're going to eat another blueberry pie all right so that we've already been through here right yeah Okay, let's go back up the stairwell. We gotta get rid of that vulture, because he's being a pain in the ass. Must, I'm guessing he's all the way up on the roof. There we go. Big old boss vulture. Let's check inside of here. All right, there's the fat loots. Some more brass. Okay, I think that's it for this floor. So that just goes into that little room there, and this goes out here to the fat loots. Before we open the fat loots, let's just take a quick peek up on the actual top of the roof. See if there's anything up there. Nope. It's completely bare. Sometime we should do Eden Mall again. I mean, we've never actually done it <laughs> anyways the, all, all the way through. We only did a small part of it. Um, it could be interesting to s see if we could secure that place from a horde. But hopefully, I mean, hopefully we'll be able to start fighting the horde from now on anyway. All right, let's check stuff out. I guess we can take that stuff. Okay, so we have our, uh, we should have our luckies on, right? Yeah, we do. Okay. So what we got? A medium backpack. Okay. Bandolier mod. That's a nice little find there, and that's a nice find as well. Okay. Weighted head mod. Full auto mod. Some steel. And now for the big boy. Oh, almost. Okay, we just need to go just a smidge beyond the cursor there. There we go. All right, what do we have in here? Okay, that's a, a nice find, but not as good as what we currently have. We need to get uh, our points up on that. We'll scrap that. We'll scrap this. We should compare these with what we're currently with what we have back at the base, so we'll keep those with us. Uh, stun baton. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it just to compare with what I have in case we ever decide to, to try them, which probably won't happen, but you never know. All right, guys, that is it for this episode. Um, is the Blood Moon despawn since we're up high enough? I don't see them running around down there. We got a shoddy messiah crate up that way. Let's cross over to that 
building. Uh, is it this room or the next one down? Yeah, it looks like we have to go maybe two floors down. Maybe one, we'll see. Yeah, we have to go one more. And then we'll just use that bridge... Okay, so we could still have sleepies in here. Oh, there's a munitions crate and some bookshelves. I hear an vulture. Must be on the roof. See what we have in here. Fortifying grip mod. Okay, let's check the bookcase. Research points, we'll take those. Check the sink for food recipes. Nope, just a bite. All right, so we got a ladder going up there. Let's see what's in this room here. Just a bedroom. All right, let's check these for safes. Yeah, whatever pathway the Zombos originally had up here, I think they must have broken it. Was it this ladder here? Oh, no, the ladder's still intact. Huh. Okay, let's go out here. Guy's right directly above us. Oh, that's not a shoddy Masai. That's a... A mo power crate. How? What? How? And how could this possibly be looted? I have never in my life been on top of this roof. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Besides, from over there, it looked like it had eggs in it. Still, that's just because of uh, the distance. Graphics. Ooh, nice find. Take that for sure. Not even though we have a bazillion of those. All right, you guys. Well, I think that is it for this episode. We survived Horde Night 84 on a building that was uh, questionable as to whether or not we could. Um, you know what? I'm not. I don't think I'm going to go down through this building. Let's just go back through here because I don't want to fight a bunch of sleepers on the way down. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here. And um, the next uh, step, of course, is to continue working on our our horde base. I fully expect uh, for that to be ready to go. Uh, on the next big horde night. So, I'll probably... You know, because I have a significant amount of work to do on it still, I might do I might do a, a lot of off-camera work, um, and then you know maybe just bring you back for one or two episodes with an update on where we are until the next horde night. It just I don't know. It, it depends upon how it comes together. So we'll just see how things go and uh, go from there. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And guess what? I just realized I didn't even have my webcam on this whole time. How about that? <laughs> All right. Doesn't matter. Uh, you guys know what I look like. So uh, yeah, that is it. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.